everyone. Hope everybody's doing well today. Thanks for tuning in. And I'm just about to have my breakfast, but I wanted to try something out with you guys. For my breakfast, I'm just having a little avocado toast um, sandwich. I have some avocados I really need to use up. And I literally just um, kind of smash them up, put them on a nice like crunchy toast, and then sprinkle with everything bagel seasoning wonderful delicious healthy it helps me get my avocados in I don't like avocados any other way so yeah and I made my cup of coffee so I made some of the Folgers black silk coffee which is one of my absolute favorites and I purchased this creamer this past weekend I went to Aldi's with my mom and we you know went and just we're getting some things we needed and stuff and I went ahead and picked this up because I saw it in there and I'd never tried it out before. This is the Friendly Farms Almond Milk Creamer. So this is a dairy-free creamer made with almond milk. It's the limited edition peppermint mocha. Ooh. So I've not used this yet. I've not opened it. Oh, I'm just like looking at, um, there's like some kind of news notification popping up on my phone something about traffic. I'm like, well, that's not surprising. Um, so I'm going to peel this little thing off because it's brand spanking new. Haven't even gotten into this yet. I like peppermint mocha. I'm not a fan of like the chocolate flavored like coffees or chocolate flavored kind of creamers. I just think they're too rich, too sweet. Um, but I'm really curious about this one. Also, I don't really like almond milk. Um, I prefer oat milk or like um, coconut milk even, but almond milk is just one I've never really been a big fan of, but we'll try it out. We'll see. So it looks like kind of a light brown color in there. Oh, it smells really good. Mmm, it smells like a York peppermint patty. That smells really good. Also, another reason why I wanted to go ahead and film this review, because I was thinking about, you know, Okay, let me, I have this free week. I'm going to sit down and film some videos. And I was going to film like a get ready with me kind of thing. But I have so many things that I wanted to review for you guys. And this was one of them. They're in the fridge. And um, I'm actually going to be moving next week. Yeah, I can finally talk about it. We're moving next week. And I will tell you guys more about that once I get there. But um, yeah, basically I've got to use up everything in my fridge um, or try to use it up because I can't bring any of it with me because it's too far of a drive for me to bring it. So can't bring it with me. My mom's probably not going to use a lot of the same stuff I use because she doesn't like some of those things. Um, and this is probably going to be one of them. Um, I, it could maybe, um, I mean, I don't really want to bring it. Um, because it says keep refrigerated. I, I don't think it's going to be good um, in the car for a long time. Anyway, let's add this in there. So that's why I'm trying to get a lot of these um, food related review videos out of the way. So this is going to be one of those where you need a lot because it's not as, you know, heavy as milk. I poured quite a bit in there, but see how it's still kind of dark? Let's try it. Oh, pleasantly, very, very good. <laughs> no, that doesn't need any more. No, not at all. Mm -mm. So actually pretty good. Um, so yeah, if you're thinking it's like a little too dark, you know, when you pour this in, it's just, I guess, because the almond milk is not as heavy as milk. It's really good. Um, yeah, really, really good. It doesn't taste like almond milk to me, which I think almond milk has a particular kind of flavor. To me, it doesn't taste like almond milk. Um, I definitely get like the chocolatey note in there, like a little bit though. It's very like subtle, not overly sweet, not overly sweet at all. Actually, this is perfect for me. Yep, and then I get this like kind of refreshing bite of like peppermint. I do kind of wish the peppermint was like just a tiny bit more pronounced, you know, like just a little bit, a little bit more pepperminty. But overall, I mean, I can taste it. Like even now after I've taken a sip and 
kind of got that just the aftertaste going in my mouth. I can still taste the peppermint. That is really good. Really, really good. Very pleasantly surprised with that. Um, mm. So I believe this was about two dollars and some cents, probably like two forty nine, two two sixty something. Um, and you know that is quite a bit cheaper than some of the like name brand ones that you can purchase at the grocery store. This is sixteen fluid ounces, and it's really good. Like this with like some whipped cream on top, you know, like some ready whip and just do like little, you know, or make your own whipped cream. Oh my gosh, it would be delicious. And then if you like drizzled a little bit of like chocolate sauce or like a chocolate mint sauce, oh, uh, I should work in a coffee shop. Really, really good. I, I think it tastes really good. It lets the coffee shine through, so you're still getting that coffee flavor. You're getting a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of peppermint. It's not overly sweet. It doesn't taste too much like almond milk. I mean, honestly, even if you are someone that is not a fan of almond milk, that you know you just really don't care for like dairy-free kind of milk or anything, I still think you would really like this just because it doesn't taste like almond milk. It literally tastes like a regular creamer I think the only thing kind of giving it away that makes me think like, hey, this is dairy free is that one, you know, not as rich, not as thick and creamy as milk. And two, you know, um, you have to use like a little bit more than you normally would. But like taste wise, I don't taste anything that doesn't taste, you know, I mean, I guess maybe compared to like milk or sweet cream, this is, you know, much less creamy, obviously. Um, but still really good. I'm really enjoying that. Yeah, so I'm gonna give this a like five out of five because I really like it. It's dairy free, it's cheap, it's good, and you know, it's just really, really good. I wish they had this all year round because I would pick it up. But anyway, really highly recommend Friendly Farms Almond Milk Creamer Peppermint Mocha. Get that and check it out. Um, but yeah, that's about as much as I got for my review. I'm going to eat my breakfast and, you know, just start getting ready for work. It's my last week there. And um, yeah, next week we actually have a moving pod coming. Um, so I'm going to be loading that up for a few days. And then we are going to be on our way. And I'm going to be driving for pretty much two days um, to get to Florida. And yeah i'm gonna be in lakeland florida so yeah i'm gonna be driving for quite a while um you know driving down through tennessee and georgia and then you know florida itself um so it's gonna be it's gonna be a long trip but i'm pretty excited about it um i'll do more about like that in a later video like i'll do a chit chatty video with you guys and kind of talk more with you about how i feel about things about that but um, yeah, that's about all I got for this review. I don't want to drag this video on. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely pick it up. Um, try it out. Peppermint Mocha Creamer from Aldi. Delicious. Really good. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.